welcome back to our channel uh, we're very glad to be able to film another video since we know that it's been quite a while since we haven't been able to upload in today's video you'll see my whip updates you'll see my mom's whip updates in the next video okay so for today's video you'll see my eight projects that I've been able to work on and I do have one finished project, which you will see in later, in, one too. later in the video. And I'm also starting one more project since I already finished the last one. So I'm really happy. Um, I'm really glad to be able to share with you guys. Remember to subscribe and to click the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you every time that we upload a new video. And you can also click the like button. That way it tells YouTube that you like our videos and that you like the content. And without further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, so firstly I have the violin and this one I bought from AliExpress. It is a stamped fabric and if you remember I did have a little incident, um, accident in this part of the project. Sadly there was um, some water spilled here and it kind of expanded yeah but it's a little water yeah. yeah it's a little bit um it's it's a little chunk um but i will what i'm doing now is that i'm bordering um basically going around a little bit of that space leaving a little bit of a margin i'm going around and once i'm done all the way to the top um once i'm done stitching all the way to the top then that's when i'm going to fill in these blank um stitches these blank spaces um i feel that that's the best way to be able to enjoy um my stitching that's i think that's the best way for me to deal with this part over here and i will be showing you how i had the project before so, so that you can compare this is how i have it now as you can see you can start to see the flowers they're really coming to life and uh, so this is what I've been able to stitch. Now these parts over here that are more dark, like this one and this one over here, I'll be showing you the picture of the design itself so that you can see that these actually have to do with the violin. Um, it doesn't make quite sense now that you see it that way. But once the project is finished, you will notice that that it does have to do with the instrument, with the violin itself. Okay, so that's what I have. And I hope to be able to stitch a little bit more and be able to... to be able to advance a little bit more on this one. Now we'll move on to the next project. Okay, so next we have Peter Pan. And these actually are a collection of stories, of fairy tales. Um, they have Peter Pan, they have Princess, they have Red Riding Hood, they have Anne with an E, they have a lot of stories. We do plan on doing the entire collection. So I'm doing this one of Peter Pan, my mom is doing Beauty and the Beast. Once we're done with these two, then we'll start doing um, some others of the collection. The reason we want to do that is because we have a project in mind that will put all of them together. And it's going to be a very nice um, project. It might take a while for us to do it but we do have it in our plans. So this is what I have. If you can compare it to the last to the last portion that I did, I did have the window, I had the palm trees, and I had a little bit of the boat. Uh, now I finished um now I finished some details in the border and I started with the alligator. I started with the town with the night town and I started a little bit of Peter Pan. This is what I've been able to stitch and it's getting there little by little. The paper that I'm using to be able to um, mark or highlight what I have what I have been doing, it stops here in this line as you can see. Once I'm done stitching all the way to the top, then lastly, the last step that I'll do is that I'll stitch this portion over here. But for now I'm doing um the but for now I'm doing this side. I really like the colors and how it's turning out. It's 
it's a very cute design, very beautiful design. So now let's move on to my next project. Okay, so next I have Toto and for this one I don't have a previous update because I actually started this one as a new project. And this is how I have it. I have already um, the dog itself. If you remember, um, I my mom actually used this same fabric, the same blue white marbled fabric uh, for her project of Dorothy. She did finish it and it turned out beautiful. Um, we actually want to do again a collection of this um, story from Miss Peggy Arts. Uh, from this design that she, that she does, she did actually a design of each character of the Wizard of Oz. So once I'm done with Toto, uh, we'll already have Dorothy and Toto and we'll do the rest of the characters from the story. She does have, I think, most of them. I can't say she, does, she has all of them because I don't remember right now, but I think she does have most of the characters from the story. Mm -hmm. um, I'll leave the link of her store down below in the description box. And well, this is Toto right here. This is how it's turning out. I really like it. I like the detail of the bow uh, or the collar. And I'm starting now doing the, the round border. So I started a little bit of the green and I'm starting with the flowers. Again, it's very similar to Dorothy. All of them have the same concept. And I really like it. All these stories really uh, remind me of my childhood. And I really like this design and how it's turning out. So yeah, this is Toto. And now let's move on to my next project. Next up, I have the dog or the golden retriever from Magic Needle. I am actually doing two projects from Magic Needle. Um, this one and the, and the green landscape that you'll see here um, that I'll show you briefly. But what I had done of this one before was the paw, a little bit of the paw and a little bit of the corner of the gift box and so I did start it to go upwards and I finished part of this of this side of the box but I did add some green here that was missing this is how it's looking and I really like the colors how it gives it definition how it defines the design this is what I have so far and as you can see this is how it will measure once it's done so these are my two hands so that you can have a reference. It's a very nice size and um, it's not too big, not too small. It's perfect for a, to put it in a frame once you're done. And yeah, that's what I have of the Golden Retriever from Magic Needle. Let's move on to my next project. So next is this project which is actually my favorite out of all the projects um, I'm working on. This is my favorite. Um, I've, if I had the option to only stitch this one, to only dedicate all my time to this one, then I would because I love the design. But I do have to divide my time into all the products that I'm doing. Like me. Like most of us, yeah. <laughs> so I think um, you'll see here in the picture, but I did have, um, I think I only had this amount done in the last update so I basically did all of this I actually reached the bottom of the project and now what I'm doing is that I'm going um, that I'm going left that's why I reached the center and I have to say I love the colors I love the sky I love the green the blue it will have a lot more blue once I reach the other side but it's actually very beautiful I love the design itself and I love how it's turning out so again this is what I have done as you can see and I hope to stitch a lot more on this project okay let's move on to my next project so this is actually a new project that I started again it won't have a previous update since it is new and it's a German Shepherd 
from it's Ada 14 too. Yeah, 14 count Ada. And this one is actually from Etsy. This design is actually from Etsy also. I'll leave her Etsy shop uh, linked down below. She does have an entire collection of these dogs, um, different variety of dogs, all the faces. It's it's a very beautiful collection, and since you can tell, I do like um, I do like dogs. So mostly all of my projects are dogs, but I really like how it's turning out. It's very pretty. I hope to stitch a lot more on this one. Again, it's 14 count Ada. And that's what I have so far. My mom is actually doing another dog um, from her store as well, which you will see in her whip updates, which will be the next video that we'll be uploading. All right, let's move on to my next project. Okay, so here I have a finished project. And this one is the Willy Wonka, um, the chocolate bar with the golden ticket. This is how it turned out. I, I do have to say that I have to um, better, um, I have to improve in my um, back stitches. But other than that, I really like um, how it turned out. I like the definition that the golden ticket has. And the design itself, it's actually very beautiful. Um, this one, I actually got it. It's a pattern that I got from my bobbin and I Again, everything will be linked down below in the description box in case you like one of the projects. I'm very happy that I finished Willy Wonka. It's very beautiful and I like the the selection. I like the color of the of the fabric that I chose as a background for the project. I think it makes the chocolate bar and the ticket really stand out um, rather than if it were white fabric. So yeah, everything turned out very well, very nice, and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so next up, I'll actually be showing you a new project. Um, since I did finish Willy Wonka, I wanted to start another one. And it'll be the balloons. Um, and the design is called the Illusion of Hot Air Balloons, and it's from My Dear Cross Stitch. This is how it will turn out. And... It is on stamped fabric, so I'll actually be doing two projects in stamped fabric. I'll start this one, and I'm already doing the violin. Okay, so I'm going to open it. That way you guys can see what it measures, and you can see the colors, the floss. Again, it brings the chart. Okay, so here it is. These are the colors, or um, the floss. They are all pastel colors, most of them. I have to say that the colors are very, very beautiful. I absolutely love these colors. And this is the project. The project measures 38 by 51 centimeters. This is it right here. And it has a total of, I think it's a total of 20, 20 floss colors i have a good feeling about this one i think this one um i'll be able to i think i'll be able to stitch a good amount on this one um since they basically are all uh, big chunks big um chunks of color and i think it will turn out to be a very beautiful project again the background is uh, white um i'm thinking that maybe you can um, add yourself if you want you can add white floss but I don't think it will be necessary so I'll just fill in so I'll just do the project as it is and leave the background white but yeah I really like this one and I'm very happy to start it and be able to start stitching it as soon as I can and this will be my new project all right everyone so that was all for today's video for my whip updates i hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you'll stay around for more videos that we'll be uploading very soon so please stay tuned you're welcome to subscribe you're welcome to like the video we need it 
<laughs> and you're welcome to click the notification bell. That way YouTube will notify you every time that we upload a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.